about how to uh, do this within 30 days time frame. Yeah. So with $1,100 budget, how much time, because we already know it's a $1,100 budget, how much time are you personally putting into this with the, the lead generation, the uh, talking to customers, everything, going to the title company to drop off the paperwork. Like, every, is that every, 40 every, hours a week? Every second of the day. <laughs> every second yeah. of the day. This is what I do for a living. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is what I do. Yeah. Do. It's now. <laughs> yeah. That's it. This is what I do. The same reason why you're willing to come here. Absolutely. Right? Because this is what I do. Yeah. And you should do the same thing. And you keep working that thing. At midnight, if somebody hits you on Facebook and say they got a house to sell, you better wake up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because if you don't say you're going to buy it, they're going to go find somebody else because they're in a position where they need funds. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when people need stuff, they'll do whatever they need to do. Yep. And you should be doing the same thing, yeah. <laughs> whatever you need to do. So, and it, so if it takes you every hour of the day to get a deal and make your first $10,000 check, then amen. Yeah. You know, so I don't want to put a limitation on that. You know, mm -hmm. after you've done it for a while and you get like some VAs in place and you get some teammates in place, you know, it's not going to take a lot of time because mm -hmm. right now I'll probably work on the business maybe two or three hours a day. Okay. okay. Um, but in the beginning, I would put the kids to bed at nine. I would go to work at 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. and I would stay working until about 3 a.m. I get back up at six, get the kids to school. And then at nine o'clock, I'm back to work. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So Grindy. it's like a, yeah. It's like, yeah. you know, I don't sleep unless I have to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, And that's a good point, though, because a lot of people, they watch these videos and they want to be successful, but they want to do it in 30 minutes a day. So yeah. uh, hey, to be with a like-minded entrepreneur that's willing to put the time in, whatever it takes to get to that point, and as you grow and scale, like he said, you can hire people and start taking some of your time back. Um, when you start hiring people, you're essentially buying back your time. Amen. So. Hey, I feel you on that, like, because most of you that know my story know it was the same commitment with, bi with building this media company. The point that I'm making here is regardless of what you really want in life, you got to be willing to be committed to it and not say, well, I'm trying to do it in eight hours right. because a lot of you all are coming from the job mentality. Nothing wrong with that. He had a nine to five before. I had a nine to five before. Um, there's nothing wrong with coming from a job and now wanting to be an entrepreneur, but you have to be realistic with it right you can work eight hours at a job because they already built the system and you're not getting all of the profits right your paycheck is your share of the profits which is why they take taxes out but they make more money than what you get so if you're going to walk into a cookie cutter system maybe you can only work eight hours a day but when you have to build the system and control everything now you might have to hey i'm gonna put the kids to bed i'm going to work I, I got to take the kids to school or daycare. I'm going back to work. Hey, now I got to go to sleep because my body's saying we going to right, sleep right. whether you want to or not, right? And, hey, that's just the real behind building a successful business. Amen. All right? So and, go ahead. And look, so and to get the funds, to get the funds for the deal, and mm -hmm. I'm just going to just – let's just take the scenario that we're walking through yep. and take it to this house because yep. this is what I did with this house. Okay. Okay? So some people at that point, they would just find another buyer and give it to them. Okay, and you can make a smooth five or ten grand, you know, cool. Mm -hmm. But in this particular play with this house behind us, what I did was I reached out to people on my cell phone. Okay, reached out to mm -hmm. people on my cell phone, not just for the seller, but also for the private money. Okay, for okay. the lender. Okay, mm -hmm. not a bank, not a Google search private lender. No, like an actual private lender. Somebody okay. that has money sitting in an account that's not doing the mini justice. Okay. So not to cut you off on this, but I know a lot of people's interpretation of private money is like Shark Tank. When somebody come and take yeah. everything that you get and out of the deal, they take all of the equity out of the profits out. So a lot of people, they're afraid of private money because they're saying they're going to give you either ridiculously high interest rates or they're going to take all of the meat off the bone. So why is it that you prefer private money? Is that not the case? Well, or? well private money is easy. No okay. Reason. Okay. So it doesn't take a lot to get it. Okay. To obtain it. Really just rapport and trust and a little knowledge. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it ain't nothing hard. Yeah. It's literally like, you know, uh, it's literally just like, hey, man, I'm buying a house. Okay. If I don't pay you back, you get the house. And okay. by the way, I bought the house at 30, per 30 cent on the dollar. Okay. okay. That's a safe investment. Mm -hmm. So I like it because it's easy. Yeah. Okay. There's no like, there's no, it's just a handshake. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this guy has money in his 401B, okay, because he was in the uh, Army. Mm -hmm. He retired from the Army. And so what he did was we moved this money over to an IRA, 
Okay. He's making 3% on his 401B right now. Okay. Every year he's making 3% of the money that's in there. Okay. Okay. I pay 10% for money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. And I, and I don't do it annualized. I do it in six months. Okay. You so that's saying? 20% over the year if you use this person twice. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So he said, well, of course I'll give you the money. Because that means <laughs> I'm going to... Either get the house or yeah. get 10% on exactly. my money. Yeah. And that's the and when you look at the, the rules of Monopoly, go back and look at the Mono, Mo, Monopoly rules, mm -hmm. you know, that's one of the benefits of Monopoly is him being the lender is in his best interest to try to bankrupt me. <laughs> he should want to want the best for himself and get, get the house, house yeah. at a discount, yeah. the same way I do. Okay, mm -hmm. so literally, so what I did was I reached out to everybody on my phone. Turns out he has this money that's making three percent. I offer him ten percent. Okay, the day before closing, he takes the check to the attorney. The day at closing, I leave with the check. <laughs> that's it. And, and what? And the private money guy gets paper. Yeah, he gets paper. He's saying that. In the paper business. Yeah, yeah. yeah saying oh, that if, if you don't give me my money yeah. back, yes. I get the deed to the house. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's exactly. So he gets the deed to the house. Now he's on the deed of trust. He's protected. So he's on the deed of trust. I'm on the general warranty deed. I'm the owner. He's the bank. Okay. okay. The way he gets his money back is our guys are in here now. They're fixing up the house. We're going to make it super nice and pretty, mm -hmm. the kitchen and all that good stuff. And we're going to list it on the MLS with our realtor for 140000 145000 whatever. Okay. okay. And so when we get paid that 140, he's going to get his money. 90, he's going to get his 90 back plus $9,000. Okay. So he gave you the money to buy the house and renovate it. Amen. But it's still less than the ARV Amen. or the Amen. after renovation value. Zero money down, no credit strategies. That's what okay. we're doing. Okay. Every time, literally, I walked away. Yesterday, I walked away with a $38,000 check. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing every time we're buying. When you, you're, the only reason why you're buying is you're buying to get paid. <laughs> All right. Okay. So if yeah. you don't get paid to buy, that's not a good deal. We, we got the leads in. Yep. We got them for free because.